Now, I guess this is a a, 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 a hot topic, and oh. and it's one that um, causes is causing great div divisions around the world. Am I first? Am I qualified to answer this? Because I'm going to get told stick to bodybuilding if I no, have I, an opinion. Well, yeah. Well, this is the whole point of uh, this question <laughs> that you know we're not allowed to have opinions based on how we are defined and the question is do black lives matter or all lives matter oh, i don't think any lives matter everyone's a cunt <laughs> and you know what the, the, the when people say all lives matter i always say no they don't because if you say all lives matter you're saying all lives so does that mean pedophiles rapists killers because mm -hmm. you just said all lives so yeah. you're including everyone and black lives you shouldn't put like any color in front of it just say certain lives matter because if we say black lives then it sounds like you're excluding everybody else and i think that's what people don't like when people say black lives matter it's almost like saying that that matters more than anybody else maybe if they said black lives matter too then that would sound better you know black lives matter too meaning like you're including yourself mm -hmm. in with everyone else where if you just say black lives matter and then, yeah, you see people in America say all lives matter and they get fucking shot. You know, this this all started again from Floyd, the whole kickoff. And since then, 19 people have been killed from the right. So it's not really, you know, helping. The group themselves just seem like anarchists and Marxists and all that sort of shit. They had a thing on, I was watching, they followed the money trial from all the donations and the money doesn't go to where to say it's going and if we are going to stick to black lives matter like people have said last weekend in chicago 38 people were murdered black people by other black people were murdered one of them was a five-year-old girl shot in the head so i understand if you want to say black lives matter so why aren't they protesting that sort of stuff and here in australia last week people got mad because we have the black lives matter here with the aborigines up in the community in Northern Territory, the five-year-old boy was raped by five Aboriginal men, or I think four or five Aboriginal men raped him, and there wasn't a word about it, so his life didn't matter. You know, if you're going to be like stand up for black lives, you got to stand up for everybody, not just, oh, hold on, this bad white cop beat up a black man, so black lives matter now. It's like, and then the celebrities jumped on board putting up the black square saying black yeah, lives yeah, matter yeah, yeah, yeah. to me it's like look racism's been going on some people like to keep it going on the NAACP and some of these black groups like to keep it going on but generally I think 95% of people or more thank you are good people they don't wake up racist they don't think I'm going out today to be racist everyone's good it's just that I think certain groups like to keep the divide going certain people in the community and you look at Al Sharpton there's a nut job that likes to keep it going because he's with some of the organizations that if racism wasn't a big thing anymore they wouldn't be getting all these donations and money they'd be out of a job it's like Big Pharma wanting everyone to be fucking healthy if Big Pharma did that they'd be out of jobs because they wouldn't be able to sell their fucking drugs so it's like Big Pharma wanting everyone to be fucking healthy if Big Pharma did that they'd be out of jobs because they wouldn't be able to sell their fucking drugs it's like Big Pharma wanting everyone to be fucking healthy. If Big Pharma did that, they'd be out of jobs because they wouldn't be able to sell their fucking drug. People like to keep racism going because it keeps them in work and shit like that, but majority of people are good. They don't think they're racist like they make out that everyone's out to get everyone because I used to go on ride-alongs with police and I couldn't tell you the amount of times I'd see black officers throwing black guys to the ground all the time. Nothing's ever said about it, but as soon as two white cops throw a black guy on the ground, oh, camera, there it is on TV, beating them up and shit like that. And I told the story, I used to go see a guy in down in South Central area. And, you know, like I said, we're talking about the cars I've had. I had a lot of nice cars. I got pulled over three times going down there. And the cop would get out, he'd come to my window, you look over your shoulder, the other cops stand there with a gun pointed at you because they're not sure who you are, you're going to reach for something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. there's always one ready. And I was just wondering what I did wrong. He goes, oh, you wonder why I pulled you over? I said, yeah, maybe I thought I was speeding. Now he goes, no, just doing a check because normally when we see a white guy down this part of town with a nice car, you're either down here selling drugs or buying drugs. So, you know, it goes both ways. They say they get pulled over for no reason, but then a lot of the time there is a reason. You know, if you're in jail this day and age, pretty much you've done something. You know, in a lot, long, long time ago, 
a lot of innocent people went to jail, but now with lawyers and lawsuits and shit like that, if you're in jail, you're pretty much there for a fucking reason. It's like I have friends that say, I hate the cops, they're this, the cops are assholes. I'm like, why? Because they did this and they're like, well, were you breaking the law? Yeah, well, fuck, they're doing their job, aren't they? So you can't hate the yeah. cops for doing their fucking job. And then another time I was in this restaurant in Santa Monica, you got this whole food street promenade, lots of restaurants. I went in one night, Friday night, and I walked up and said, I have a table for two. And the lady goes, do you have a, a reservation? Like thing. I said, no. They go, well, sorry, you know, Friday, Saturday nights are busy. You need to make a booking. I said, that's fine because yeah, as soon as you walk out of that restaurant, there's one next door, yeah. one next door. There's so many. So Didn't you do the don't you know who I am? No, but <laughs> the guy behind me, nothing saying nothing about him, happened to be black. I was just turning around to walk out. He said the same thing. And they said to him, sorry, so you need a reservation. He pulled out the race car. He said, of course I'm black, I can't eat here and blah, blah, like, mate, they just told me the same thing. So, you know, so I think some people Did like Did you have that tan on? <laughs> no. <laughs> I should have said, oh, now I see it's because I'm fucking white. <laughs> yeah, so I think, you know, the race car gets thrown around a lot and people like to use it, you know, for their own advantages and stuff like that. But, you know, the whole Black Lives Matter, like I said, if black people are being murdered by black people, you can look at the statistics online. That's the biggest killer of black people is up black on black and there was another one you can go and order statistics FBI and that that goes through violent crimes not murder just violent crimes and I think in America 2018 to 2019 white on black violent crimes was 57,400 or something that white people attack yeah. black people black people attacking white people was I think it was like 547,000 violent crime so and then they say oh it's systematic the cops are out to kill us no nope. you go through it again say it was like you know here in Australia there was like 47 or something black deaths compared to 247 white in jail and, and this was in carcerate when they say here in Australia deaths in custody most nearly every death in custody was old age because they're in there for life yeah, yeah, yeah. or just medical conditions none of them were murdered and that sort of thing and same as in America when they say police deaths I think there was like something like 18 or even less than that killed by police but yet there was triple the amount of white people people go oh yeah well that's understandable of course it's going to be more white people because your white people's the bigger population He's larry older uh, larry older do you like um candace owens she's yeah, really good thomas she, uh, yeah Sal. he's really good and but, so, but you watch them they get called sellouts uncle tom she's got that movie yeah, I'm, I'm going to watch it called the, uncle tom yeah but he, the thing is candace owen is too you watch her, her show, she'll actually try and get people from the opposite side in just to have a nice discussion. Yeah. Did you see when she had that guy from Black Lives Matter in there? No, I haven't. And then, she, then they're getting into stuff about the LGB and she's like, well, can a man have a baby? He's like, yes, sometimes. And she's like, how can a man have a baby? A man can't have a baby. He's genetically not built to have yeah. a baby. But he's like, yeah, they can sometimes. And no, no, she's like... That might be a woman identifying as a man or something, but a man cannot have a baby and stuff. But she, because she knows her facts and statistics straight away, but she's a big believer in it too about the breakdown of the families in America where they don't have fathers yeah. and what 75% of households don't have a father. and.